Now in the next application, we're going to have to create the quadratic function that we need to solve the problem. And the situation is this. We're told that a gardener has enough grass seed to plant 700 square feet of grass. He wants to use it to plant a uniform strip around a rectangular pool that's 20 feet wide and 40 feet long. And the question is, how wide should the strip be? So in the diagram below, you can see that the pool is the rectangle with the dimensions in blue that are 20 by 40. So that's the inner rectangle. And around the pool we have the border of uniform width, and let's call the width of that border x. And so the border is highlighted in green to emphasize the fact that that's where the grass is going to be planted. Now we know that the number of square feet available for the border is 700 square feet. Now let's think about how we might set up an equation to help us find what the value of x is. Now first, would you agree if you look at the entire outer rectangle that includes the strip and the pool, that the width of that rectangle will be 20 plus 2x. It's the 20 plus the x and x that's part of the uniform border. And so the length of this larger outer rectangle, would you agree, would be 40 plus 2x. Now, if we were to take the area of that outer rectangle, which would be 20 plus 2x times the quantity 40 plus 2x, and if we subtract from that the area of the pool, which would be 20 times 40, Would you agree that that would give us then the area of the strip around the pool, which we're told is 700 square feet? So again, the area of the big rectangle with dimensions 20 plus 2x and 40 plus 2x, we'll take the area of that rectangle, subtract the area of the pool, and that will give us the area of the strip around the pool where the grass seed will be planted and we know that that area is 700 square feet. So it looks like that will be our equation, and so we'll next solve the equation. So to solve the equation, we'll first multiply the two binomials we see there in the first term. So that will give us 800 plus 80x plus 40x plus 4x squared then minus 800 is equal to 700. Now we can see that the 800s will cancel. And so if we put the equation into standard form, let's write the 4x squared term first. Then the 80x plus 40x will be 120x. Then if we bring the 700 to the left-hand side, we have the minus 700 is equal to 0. Now we notice that each of those terms has a common factor of 4, so let's divide each term in the equation by 4 to make the numbers a bit smaller and easier to work with. So we'll end up then with x squared plus 30x minus 175 is equal to 0. Now this will factor fairly easily into x plus 35 times x minus 5. And setting each factor to 0, then we see that we have x being equal to either negative 35 or x being equal to 5. Now, of course, we're going to have to reject the negative 35 because the width can't be a negative number. So the only legitimate value then that we can use will be the 5. So we can end up then by writing a sentence. And we'll state that the width of the strip is 5 feet.